Hey guys and girls, Poketeen King here, back here with another Flesh and Blood opening. This time we have Tales of Aria, first edition. You've all seen loads of Tales of Aria. It is probably one of the nicest boxes in Flesh and Blood. But uh, we are here to try and get some cold foil goodness. See what we can get. It's been a little while since I've opened up Toa. Um, got a bit repetitive because I opened up so much in such a short period of time. But... We've opened up pretty much everything recently. The next set I'll open up is probably going to be Arcane Rising. Because um, my luck's okay with Arcane Rising. I've opened up a few fair few boxes. Um, I've opened up a Eye of Fit video, but um, that's pretty much all I've got. We aren't going to spend a million years going through all these comments because you've seen them all, so... Two rares, and we got the foil. The cold foil should always be after that, anyway. I think Unlimited, they, for Tales of Aura, they changed the placement of the cards. Um, so I have started organising all my bulk now into boxes. So. This will all be going there. And hopefully this will help somebody one one time sort of make decks or something. So we got our first Majestic, Seek and Destroy, Foil. So we sleeve up anything from Majestic and up. These go in the binder. I don't actually know what's good anymore left in this set because I opened up Monarch and uh, I pulled a load of good cards that I thought, well, cards that I thought they were good. Of course, half the heroes from Monarch now are unplayable, so they're not really good anymore. But yeah, the, the game changes so much. So these living legend uh, status, these heroes, that, you know, sets like Monarch have been basically destroyed. Uh, obviously. The boxes weren't going to go back up. I remember Monarch to 1k for so long. <laughs> but uh, Monarch to just 100 would be nice for some people, I guess. Not for me, though. I like buying boxes for cheap. So, expose the elements and I'm majestic. But yeah, Toe is about £60 a box now. 55 to 60 a box. And Monarch's about 70 to 90, depending on how lucky you get. I managed to pick up two Monarch boxes for 150, and I bought two Tur boxes for 110, so one of these two. So, foil. So, who knows if the legendary has been pulled? I mean, if you haven't already seen my Monarch opening, I definitely recommend checking that out. But, um, spoiler, I pull a legendary, so that was just two boxes. Got frost luck and our foil is snapshot. So that was already a. Uh, apologise for the noise in the background. It's my washing machine. I uh, have very little free time to record, so uh, unfortunately I couldn't wait till it was finished. But it should finish probably soon. But uh, yeah, uh, Toro is pretty cheap, and so is Monarch. So it's good if you want to revisit some of the sets. Um, but yeah, two boxes I got, one of them had a legendary cold foil in, so I probably won't open the other one because it's definitely probably not going to have a legendary. Um, but I always figured if you're buying loose boxes like that, the legendary's been pulled, but um, I hadn't in that case, so that's what I thought. I'll try one of these boxes and see what goes with the tower. So far we've got three Majestics, nothing special. Hoping for a couple of four Majestics, maybe a Channel Lake Frigid, always good. That's why we won the best Majestic still. And we got Awakening. 
And our foil is Biting Cold, Awakening Elemental Guardian Instant. Not sure how good anything is in this set anymore. I know uh, Blizzard is still Blizzard in this set. I think Blizzard's in this set. And Channel Late like, Fridge, I don't know. Uh, still cards I see people asking for in the groups. Flash, Embolden, Strength of Sakaya. Portion would be nice. Uh, mine only got a 9, a Beckett BGS 9. And I very much would like a 9.5. So I have actually got another caution on its way. I'm hoping it's going to get a 9.5. I traded for that, so we should see. The prices of these have gone down. I need to get a Library of Solana. Sigil of Suffering, Bolton Shot, Heaven's Claws, our foil. Tyro opens up so easily compared to um, History Pack. History Pack's really hard to open. Sigil of Suffering, is that a foil? Nothing good so far, it's a pretty dead box. Lightning Pass, foil, Dazzling Crescendo. Girl. Sting of Sorcery is our Majestic, Frostlock is our foil, which is also a Majestic, which I missed. So double Majestic pack, very nice. It is possible to get a triple Majestic pack, although I've not had one myself, I have seen it. And our cold foil, Plume of Evergrowth, which is just a common, um, bit disappointing. I don't think it gets used. So, worth about five pound, I think. So, got a couple packs left. Still a chance of getting maybe a alt art. Who knows? Got Briar. I haven't got hold of that. Ice Storm Majestic. And final pack. Hold him. And nothing. Unfortunately, so pretty dud box there. Pretty standard box as far as Toa goes. Toa can give off and take off away very easily. Um, as anybody that's opened up knows, so we've got seven Majestics, which is pretty standard, uh, nothing that sort of jumps out, and then Plume of Overgrowth Cold Foil, so uh, thank you all for watching, please comment and subscribe as always for more content, and see you later.